guys and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Mallory and in today's video we will be reviewing the new Morphe 35L Ultraviolet Palette. Also with the palette we did pick up the Lip Trio. This is one of the things that came in the collection. There was also a blush and a highlighter. We didn't pick up either of those because I wasn't really sure like really how to use a purple blush so I just left it but uh, we did pick up the lip trio so this is a trio of lip plumping gloss so if you're new here we are doing a 1k giveaway very very soon one of these lip glosses will be in your giveaway okay so we also got one of these sheets in the palette before I show you guys the whole thing we did get one of these sheets if you guys did not watch the morphe no silent nights palette they put a sheet like this in here before they kind of told you where to put eyeshadows and like give you different eyeshadow looks i literally cannot find that sheet anywhere but with this one it doesn't look like that on here it says cyber silver pop on brows inner corners or anywhere you want as an instant highlight so this the shade here would be like a highlighter shade it says double click in y3k bouquet swipe on cheeks so these could be like cheek colors like blushes this raven length right here this is supposed to be like pair with purples for the ultimate ultra lavender look so it's lo-fi, I guess. And then these two, um, it says ace your base by blending these along eye creases, which is dot com and circuit breaker. And dark web is line and define smoky eye look. So we might actually use it today. We used it last time, it worked out well, so we might actually use it today. So let's go ahead and dive right into the palette. I am gonna show you the color story while I put my bangs away. Two seconds later. Okay, so as you can see, a truly, truly beautiful palette. So if we match this back up, this is actually my good side. So we need to start working more on this side instead of the other. Mm -hmm. So the Cyber Silver, we're going to work with that. That says pop on brows or inner corners. This is for the instant highlight. Lo-fi raven length and double clicked. Or lo-fi and raven length. Let's pair those for the ultimate lavender look. So these two right here. That's easy, we can do that. So, so far we have these two, that's cute. Well, these three. Um, double clicked in Y3K bouquet. These are blush. Now see, I'm glad I didn't buy that blush because it looked just like these shades right here. I was like, what the hell are we supposed to do with that? So we can actually use the Y3K bouquet as a highlight, I mean, blush. We can use it as a blush. Dot calm and circuit breaker. Okay, ace your base by blending these along eye creases and then dark web this is so tricky i'm like oh i need to line it up the dark is right there the name is right there wow okay so dark web <laughs> this is that these are for lighting and defining smoky eye looks perfect so these are about all the colors that i like to use anyway i'm gonna keep the sheet handy so we can make sure to double check but yeah i think we're ready to go this shade right here hyper real heather this is a beautiful shade right here yes that one is absolutely gorgeous i mean the whole palette is very pretty and honestly whenever i first saw the packaging i was kind of concerned because i was like is this like the pony palette but it is absolutely not it's not the same at all packaging very similar but not the same at all so let's go ahead and get started use circuit breaker and dot com so we're just use circuit breaker i really like the shade i'm going to start in the crease and then build on the shade from there this shade is a lot more pink than i thought it would be but very pretty otherwise okay so far so good let's move right along this is looking very very pretty love it love it love it love it so next the sheet says that we should use lo-fi and raven link for the ultimate purple look which is true cyber silver so really this is just giving like you little tips this is definitely not a guide we're gonna go into virtual violet because this one is just like screaming pick me because it's super purple so we're gonna go into this one and then very vivid right after i think that these two will pair perfectly together for this look so yeah okay so to start with that virtually violet shade we're gonna take this morphe night and ff6 brush this is a tiny little blender we're gonna go in with this one first now even though we have the other shade on the crease i'm still gonna put this right on top i don't have that much eye space left so this is what we're gonna do i think it'll be fine i mean it's blending out pretty fine it looks a little strange on camera but in like here it looks fine now this is a very pale pale purple but honestly it's very true to the pan like it looks just like it does in the pan so 
I'm pretty impressed so far. I'm not getting much fallout, definitely getting pigment. So far, so good, so far, so good. We are gonna go ahead and deepen this look up with that other shade, um, what's the name? With Very Vivid, we are gonna go ahead and darken the look up with that. We're gonna take it from like here to the outer corner. We are definitely gonna do a cut crease today because I do wanna use Raven Length and Lo-Fi, but wait, yeah, maybe we'll just do like a matte, like right on the, we'll figure it out later. But yeah, we'll definitely be doing a cut crease today. So let's go ahead and add that Very Vivid so we can start darkening it up. I really like this shade. It is just, it's very like plum. Looks like a plum, plum fairy shade. So we do have some fallout, no big deal. The pigment is popping. So, you know, we got to pick a struggle. Do we want pigment or do we want to complain about fallout? I'll take the pigment. I'm just going back and forth between the brush that we used in the very beginning on the crease shade. That was Circuit Breaker and the brush that we're now using for Very Vivid. Get a good blend. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is starting to get patchy. We are starting to get kind of patchy. I'm not excited about that at all, but let's just keep moving and just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. This is literally all we can do at this point. I am gonna go ahead and repeat that same process though on the other side. Um, yeah, so we can get this side darkened up as well. Now, while I do that, I do wanna tell you guys something. <laughs> so I have been off of caffeine and I'm like a caffeine crackhead, right? I drink, I've got up to drinking like two Celsius and a coffee per day, which is insane. It's an insane amount of caffeine that I was drinking, but, I quit, I quit cold turkey because I tried to wean myself off like somebody was telling me to do, but it seemed like it almost got worse when I tried to do that. So I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just call it good on the caffeine and be done with it. So I'm now on day, what is it, day five with no caffeine. Now day one through three sucked. I had the worst headache. I was so, so tired. I was literally losing it. Now I just kind of feel like I might be a little bit snappy like towards people, well, not intentionally, of course, but I just feel like I'm going through withdrawal to a crackhead and because of my caffeine addiction, I'm just kind of snappy. But other than that, I mean, I'm pretty normal. Y'all, I'm doing a good job. I really feel like I'm rehabbing myself out of my addiction and I'm so proud. So yeah, I'm Mallory and I'm an addict. Caffeine is my drug. Boy! Put my crease off camera and then we'll come back and use those lid shades. We're back. Okay, so, I lost my sheet, but I remember. Okay, so we're supposed to use Lo-Fi and Raven Leaf for the ultimate ultraviolet look. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we will use Cyber Silver in the inner corner and the brows, and then we'll definitely darken it up with the switched off, which was the instructions per the sheet. So let's go ahead. This is a, I know I've been all over the place telling you guys about the brushes. I need to do better for sure. We're gonna go into Lo-Fi first. This is just a flat shadow brush. This brush has no label on it. It's been used so many times. So we're gonna use this. I'm gonna put this one on first. Okay, so this shade is pretty. Okay, so this shade is pretty. Very light. Honestly, I'm not loving the way that this is showing up on my skin it's kind of patchy it's kind of rude to be honest i you guys i love morphe so much but i just feel like how many times do i need to tell them how many times do i need to say it out loud this stuff is getting patchy they need to work on this let's go ahead and go into raven link right here we're going to continue the process just to see if it gets better i'm sure it will with the shimmers they always deliver in the shimmer department or at least they usually do so Let's just see. I don't like that brush that I was using, so I'm gonna switch back to the one that we just used and just flip it over. You guys, what's going on? I don't feel like we're getting the ultimate ultraviolet experience right now at all. I do not feel that way and I feel very confused. 
and also very sad because this palette was not cheap they've gone up just like everything else i think this was 27 dollars like <gasps> girl not morphe not morphe about to be on the luxury side volta so I'm not happy, 100%. Even the shimmers aren't really delivering this time. I've only used one though, so let's give it another chance with the, the Cyber Silver. Let's just see if Cyber Silver will change our minds a bit. At this point, I've decided, I've just decided maybe it's me, so. Let's just see what we can do to salvage this look. I'm so annoyed with how badly this is turning out. Like I literally don't even know what to do besides start over and I just don't want to do that, so. <gasps> Morphe, what's happening? The patchiness is absolutely insane. It's horrendous. Okay. So what I did, um, what I did just now and it's not, probably wasn't the best move. So I tried to blend control shift into the outer corner mixed with the very vivid and the switched off. Definitely a terrible idea. It just made it more splotty, spotty, splotchy. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try Love Glitch. No, wait, no, I'm gonna try, okay. I'm gonna do what it said. I'm gonna go ahead and try it Raven Length, but I'm gonna try it on my finger this time, no brush. And let's just see if we get a better outcome. By putting it on here okay so it's looking a little better but still not great okay so i'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process on the other side i'm just gonna skip the control shift color though because that did not work out at all so i'm just gonna blend out this outer corner right here or at least pretend like I'm blending it out because this color doesn't actually want to blend for whatever reason. So now I'm going back in with Rave Link and putting it on. Oops, I put it too high. Just putting it on my lid right here. Oof. Okay, so. I mean, on camera, it's not looking as bad as it does in person, but this is like, I have to say, it's probably like the worst yet. It's definitely not great. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this fallout at liner and lashes, and we'll come back and see if the lip shades will make us feel better about this purchase. So we'll be back in just a few. When my bangs hide it, it like doesn't look as bad. Like you can't even tell that how patchy and weird it is. It looks like, okay. So let's go ahead and see if the lippies are okay because I think you guys can tell I just hate this palette. So far, I hate it. I feel like maybe we need to give it another chance. So maybe we'll do another video on it. We'll just give it a second chance. I feel like, you know, Everybody and everything deserves a second chance sometime. I decided out of the three, I want to use this one. This one is a pink shade. The other one is purple and clear. So these two will actually be in your giveaway. So yay, you get lip gloss in your giveaway, lip plumping gloss. I'm kind of glad because I almost bought, almost bought you guys the palette too for the giveaway. I'm glad we did not do that because what a disaster. So because this lip gloss is just clear, I probably just need to put something on top with it, but it's very iridescent and it's minty. So, so far I love that. This is absolutely gorgeous and it does feel good. It feels like it's gonna like plump up my lips. So at least they got the lip gloss right because I mean, how can you really mess up? Like you literally have to try to mess up lip gloss, I think. Like, So overall, final thoughts with this Ultra Lavender palette. I think that we definitely need to give it a second chance because this, I just feel like there's no way that the palette was this bad. Like there's, there's no way that it was this bad. But right now I'm gonna say I don't know. I feel like it is terrible. The shades were very patchy, very hard to blend. Just not the Morphe quality that I like, that I love, I've grown to know and love. It just wasn't there. It wasn't hitting today. It wasn't hitting all the right notes. So I think we should definitely give it another chance. So we'll definitely be seeing this one again very soon. But as for right now, don't go out and buy it yet. Don't go out and buy it yet. You don't need it. You don't need it so far. 
I'll let you know in the next one. But if you are not already, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and you will see my case in the next one.